Good morning guys, today is Friday and we are ready to do another another little vlog for you guys So we are going to be doing quite a few things today But most importantly we want to share kind of like a little progress uh, update on Julian's sleeping Because today has been officially two weeks since we started sleep training him and he's been sleeping throughout the night for about 10 11 days he's been sleeping throughout the night so i think it's safe to say that we did that we conquered this we definitely did so let me show you julian here good morning good morning julian julian what are you doing right now huh what's up buddy he just ate right now he's happy so julian oh Julian. All right, let's go have breakfast. All right, so we're gonna have breakfast right now. So basically this morning Julian woke up like around What time he woke up like 7? So he woke up like around 7 15. We put him to bed last night at 9 He had like a one minute of like complaining crying not like a like a crazy cry but like a, uh, 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 Like that so usually if he's doing that then we just let him and then like we we're watching him on the camera And he fell asleep fell asleep all on his own again So he's been doing that all these days already. He's been sleeping Sleeping on his own already, and um, and here, what are you laughing? What are you laughing, Julian? Oh. What are you laughing? You want to laugh? Say hi to everyone, Julian. Julian, Julian, what, buddy? What are you doing there? What are you doing? Look, so all right, let me, I'm gonna set this down here. So, ah, uh, here we are. Here, I'll take it. Oh. <laughs> What happened, buddy? <laughs> All right, here he is. Here he is, the man of the day, Julian. Thank God it's Friday, TGIF, right? Yay! Look. Okay. So happy. We wanted to share with you guys like an update. So basically like we've been doing the sleep training as you guys may know and some people are like what is that? Especially like my parents are like you what are you guys doing like you know you, you, you're feeding Julian only four times in a day blah 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 all this stuff. But anyways to be honest it works for us. Um, we we do feed Julian four times a day sometimes one or two extra times Maybe just for like five or ten minutes, but we do feed him four times a day So the feedings that the feedings that work for our schedule um, is at eight o'clock right eight o'clock in the morning Yes, twelve eight o'clock twelve o'clock four p.m. and eight p.m. So I think that the most important thing is to try to get them like on a routine schedule that they get used to So for instance, we try to get home by like 7 o'clock You know, we'll get everything ready, we'll shower him in his little bathtub We'll give him a nice little bath, he'll, he'll be in there for like 20-25 minutes hanging out Which he absolutely loves, he always cries when we have to take him out though And then at 8 o'clock on the dot, we'll feed him Now, the thing is that if he is hungry, if he starts complaining that he's hungry before the time then of course we'll see like is he giving us hunger cues and stuff like that so we'll feed him a little a few minutes before we'll start maybe like 7 45 or whatnot but for the most part eight o'clock is his time he'll pretty much eat like till like 8 45 right you know by the time like we he gets burped and eats again and burped and eats again he eats to like 8 45 and he's he takes in about like six to seven ounces um and then we just like hang out with him for a little bit and then at nine o'clock we put him to bed in like five minutes he's out like he is knocked out and we we watch him in the camera he's like sucking his hand and stuff like that so he's like soothing himself what 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 do you what what's going on you want to talk you want to say something to, to everyone? Huh? What do you want to say? You want to tell him how you... Hi? You want to say hi? You just uh, say hi? And tell him that you, he's starting uh, cool, am I, am I cool, cooing and kind or whatever. Cooing and goo 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 all that stuff <laughs> he does. So, um, so yeah, so we put him to sleep at 9 and he falls asleep and literally like he sleeps the entire night. He's been sleeping since 9, 9.15 to about 7, 7.30 every no, single day for the past uh, two weeks. The first, the first few days we were like, you know, getting him ready, but he was doing that. So, and then the other thing too that's important is like, you know, we have a schedule for him throughout the day. You know, he wakes up at seven, we, uh, seven, 7.30, we go, we wish him good morning and talk to him and everything. He's all happy and smiling. Right, Julian? You're all happy and smiling? Yes, 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 yes. And then he wakes up on his own and then we greet him and stuff and then at 8 o'clock we'll feed him Usually by like a like we're done feeding him by like 8 45 ish and then 
you know, by the time like I get I have my I get Andrea's breakfast ready and everything and she gets ready to go to the gym and stuff like that He's like almost ready to go to sleep and he usually will fall asleep if I take him to the gym with me To because sometimes I'll go with Andrea like today. I'm, today. We're gonna. I'm probably gonna go with you So because it's raining so I'm gonna drive her I'm gonna drive her so I'll take him to the gym with me And he'll literally like sleep throughout the entire session for an hour. He'll usually have a nap after the morning Oh, see oh, What's going on buddy? Oh, oh, where's his tete? He'll sit with me there while Andrea's working out and kind of like he'll sleep the entire time, which you guys will see. So Greg's following. All right, Greg. Greg, you're interrupting my video, guy. All right, I'll be back. Let me answer this phone call. I'm back, guys. I'm back. Julian's falling asleep right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put him in his car seat because we're going to get ready to go to the gym. Well, Andrea's going to get ready to go to the gym, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with her and hang out over there for a little bit. And we'll talk more. In a little bit. We are on our way to the gym today, but this time is for my class at 9 30. Uh, Julian is asleep now. Usually he takes a nap one hour nap after his first feeding and then a two hours nap after his second feeding. We're taking him to the gym with us. As soon as we put him in the car seat, he falls asleep. So we actually like to take him out of the house so he can actually sleep. A little bit, right, babe? Yeah, he'll probably sleep for two hours. Yeah, it's chilly. We're in April. Wait for the summer. I know, so we can walk more outside and stuff. No, I just I can't wait to the actual spring to arrive. No, we're not gonna have spring this year. <laughs> they said you didn't get the memo. No spring in 2018, guys. This is this is not not good. Not good. At least, at least a sunny day. You know, it makes you, it makes you happy. What's up, guys? We just got back from the gym, and Julian just woke up. Literally, he slept the entire time while we were there. So, so he's he's due for his next feeding in a few minutes, in a little bit. Now I'm gonna put him in his uh, little gym for a little while, get him little activities, and then we're gonna feed him at 12. So he took a nice nap. So. After we feed him there, he slept for, for like about an hour. So after we feed him for the 12 o'clock feeding, then since we're gonna go out today, he's probably gonna like knock out. So that's gonna be a good thing for us. So we'll keep you guys posted in a little bit. Julian, what are you doing there? You having some tummy time? <laughs> hey, hey, ticklish. Are you ticklish in there? Oh, look who's here. Figaro joined the. What's up, Figaro? What's up, Figaro? <laughs> What's that, Julian? Julian! Julian. Mm. What, you wanna talk? What do you wanna say to the world today, Julian, huh? Tell them, what's up, people? Go ahead, tell them. Tell them. Tell them how you feel. <laughs> His face. He has the funniest face. I think. I think he's ticklish under his chin. I'm getting ready to head out. And Julian is, look at him, Julian. He's gonna sleep probably the whole time, so we'll keep you guys posted. He already had his second meal of the day. We still have two more meals to go, and then we'll we'll keep you guys posted on how we put him to sleep later on. So stay tuned for that, guys. So we're in the mall right now, and we're in a family room. Thanks, Hey, one of Julian. Cause it's time to feed Julian. Four o'clock right now, so he started getting hungry. So we took a break and we are feeding him. Well, Andrea's feeding him. Yeah, I love Carlos Mall. They have such a convenient place, place to nurse your baby. Look at this room. Cool. It's like closed off. You know, it has some couches and stuff like that. TV. I'm about to take a nap right now, actually. <laughs> anyway, so he's he got his he's getting his four o'clock feeding now. So his next feeding is around eight o'clock. Even though like technically we try to avoid him falling asleep and uh, between this feeding and his next feeding, so he sleeps throughout the entire night. Because we're gonna be walking around and stuff, he's probably gonna he probably is gonna fall asleep. Kind of we'll see when we get home tonight, but hopefully like we get home and he he'll have a nice bath and stuff like that. It'll kind of relax him a little bit and get him ready for bed. Today is actually a good test. A good test. Julian finished eating officially. And there he is, a little baby. Julian, you done eating? Are you happy now? I don't know, hopefully we can find what Andrea needs to find now. And then we can go home. Cause the mall is just like too much overwhelming. <laughs> 
Okay. Okay, we're done. Everything was phenomenal. But, but <laughs> <laughs> listen to this. Listen to this. We were we I was trying on dress some dresses that I picked up to try it on. Yeah. And I took Julian with me because Richard went to the bathroom. So Julian was like awake since he ate and and I changed his diaper, he was happy, so it was fine. So I took him to the to, to get to try the dresses on with me. What? There's no traffic. And there's no traffic! Uh -huh. Yay! Okay. Sweet. And so then we should record this. There's no traffic. There's no traffic, guys. Look. No traffic. Yay! No traffic leaving on the garden. On a Friday at, at 6, 6. 6.42. Yeah, that's crazy. All right. I think because it's spring break. I think it's maybe. Yeah, it's spring break, so a lot of people is... Now, kids are off from school. Yeah. But So, Richard comes, comes back from the bathroom uh, and join us in, in this little room to, while I was trying on dresses. He was looking Julian. And then I started smelling something. Yes. And Julian was making these like pucker faces. Like, <laughs> like this. No, like this. Yeah. And then <laughs> I smelled and I was like, Andrea, Julian took a shit. And so I was like, I gotta check him. And like he definitely so when did. I So I went, I put my hand, he was in the car seat, in the stroller. And I put my hand to pick him up through his back. And lo and behold, a nice... He Take I took my hand out. It was just full of shit, uh, just like full of crap. And it was like wet. And, and I was like, <laughs> oh my god! This oh my kid. god! Oh my god! Yes, he did poop. He so he picked pooped. Richard picked picked, so him, I picked up. him up. And the whole back of his shirt, I everything was pooped. His the car seat was all full of shit. Everything was full of shit. There's yes. shit everywhere. Yes, the car seat got dirty. The whole the strap for the the, the seat belt got red, got poop. Uh, what else? His shirt, his pants, everything. Up to his almost, almost I mean, his neck. <laughs> almost his neck, poor oh. baby. But this happened like within like, five minutes. Yeah, because we were feeding him, and then we walked to to another store, and that's what happened. He pooped all the way up, up here. <laughs> Yeah, so... And no, and then wait, 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 wait for wait. the best. So, so then I put out the changing pad in the in, in the fitting room. There was like a little <laughs> bench. So I put out a changing pad and while Andrea is trying on the dresses, I'm like, I'm going to change this kid. So like That's I take hard. off all his clothes, everything. And then so I, so I started changing him and I wiped him all down. I basically like, basically showered him with wipes because he had, <laughs> he had poop everywhere. And then I wiped everything down, wiped my hands down, everything, and I'm I'm picking him, I'm holding him like this. Oh, because right? because he he his back was full of. Oh uh, yeah, his back was poop. full of shit. Too. So he picked him up, so, so I can wipe his back, and I can wipe down the the um, the changing pad. Yeah. And and that second that I was cha I was cleaning the changing pad. What does Julian do? Guess. He pee. He peed all, all <laughs> over me. <laughs> All over the wall in the changing room. <laughs> in the changing room. And in the changing room, there was dresses. So, oh, so. I, I was like, okay, definitely he does not I, like this dress. He didn't pee on the dress, did he? I hope he didn't pee on the dress. What dress? On the dresses that were there. So we finished dressing Julian. Andrea got the dress. We left there and then I discarded a bag full of a dirty diaper, half a pack of freaking wipes a onesie <laughs> that was like basically no longer white anymore it was just all orange and it was a nice uh, a nice yeah one it was too. nice actually. it was a, a nice um onesie i like that onesie and then we kept his pants because his pants were were okay somehow somehow the poop didn't get on his pants but it got all over his onesie up to his neck i don't understand <laughs> it's time to shower julian julian you ready for a shower you ready for a shower, buddy? Yes, you're gonna get showered right now. All right, let's go. We're gonna go shower Julian right now. Get him nice and comfy in his little bathtub. Uh, I gotta put some soap in here because um, cause Julian's full of shit. Say hi. Say hi. You're getting showered. Say hi. 
he hangs out here for a little while and then uh once I see his little fingers getting all wrinkly and stuff then I'll take him out. Right Julian? Right? Right? What do you think? You wanna come out here or you like the water? You like the water, yes, yes you do. What's up guys? So Julian just finished eating. Finished eating his 8 o'clock meal. We're gonna get ready to put him in bed right now and then we're gonna watch him for a few minutes in his crib to see how long he takes to go to sleep. So let's see, let's see. Here it is. This is the moment of truth guys. The moment of truth for today's test. Ready? Oh, it's so dark in here. So usually we have the room nice and dark and then oh we also turn on the shusher thing which I put in another video I'll put the link in the description though basically we put him in his crib and we just uh, wish him good night pray with him for a little bit for a few minutes and that's it we close the door and walk out so we're closing the door now we just let him go to sleep on his own and then I'll get my phone over here and then we'll watch him here on the camera and usually he'll fall asleep within like five minutes or so from what we've seen in these past couple weeks he's moving a little bit he'll probably start like uh start soothing himself like actually he's doing that right now he starts sucking sucking his hand it's so cute dude. it's so cute Julian so he kind of starts sucking his hand and starts soothing himself so so yeah that's pretty much it guys so this has been it has been a lot of work um it's been a long day it's already like 9 30 over here but first month and a half was a uh, very it was not easy and you know a lot of people were like oh that's, that's just the way it is and get ready because you're gonna be like that for a long time and we're just like no nah, there's gotta be a better way there's gotta be a better way we have faith that there's a better way for for us to get sleeping again so we did this and basically you know thank god Thank God. Thank you, God. We did this, of course, a lot of praying. Um, the shusher, um, the the book, 12 hours by 12 weeks, and just teamwork, and teamwork between Andrea and I. So I think this has been a big success. You see what he's doing? Look, he's just hanging on there. Julian, he's still moving a little bit. He's still awake. He's like, su he's sucking his hand. So we're gonna wait for him to go to sleep in a little while, and then we're gonna wrap up this video. So we'll see you guys in a few minutes. So Julian is officially asleep. Where's my phone? Oh, it's right here, it's right here, it's right here. All right, guys, look. Look, look, look. Here it is, here it is. Look, he is knocked out. So it, he went to sleep, it took him like, how long? How long did it take him? Like maybe 15 minutes. 15 minutes this time for him to go to sleep. I barely cried. Yeah, he, he didn't even whining. cry. He didn't even cry. He barely cried. Yesterday he cried a little bit more. Um. So, so Julian fell asleep, so the wrap. Yes, Andrea, guys. I give a lot of credit to my amazing wife Andrea who, who was so dedicated to you know and I put my part so but definitely it takes two people it definitely takes two people right? Yeah, yeah you have to be on the same page with your, with your partner absolutely in order to make this happen but um, now we are so happy that Julian sleep through the night and wakes up next day at around 7 7 30 and we can't, I mean, we cannot complain. It's great. Now it soon will be time for our bedtime. <laughs> That's right, guys. So have a good night. Bye.